Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah with another exciting episode of Bravely Default. How are you guys doing today? All right, well, we are moving on on our last episode. We defeated a dragon. We got our rainbow thread. Now we got to go talk to Old Man and see if he can stitch us up a new dress. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we love new dresses. Other than that, guys, go ahead and hit that like button if you guys didn't already. Help support the series. It only takes a second, so it shows me how much you guys are enjoying it. Thanks. All right, let's see. We got some updates here. Quick equip with Optimum. Okay, having trouble choosing what to wear? Click on Optimum. Okay, we know how to do that. Try using Bravely Second to attack the enemy now. You'll be using SP. Yeah, we don't need that. The SP menu? No. I'll mess around with that later. I gotta talk to old man. Hey, yo, old man! I gotta take a nap first. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> sleep or don't sleep? <laughs> Yuliana Woods Needleworks. Hopefully old man's not watching directly over me as I sleep. That'd be pretty bad. Alright, here we go. I got your thread. Ah, back in one piece, are you? Very impressive. Then you did know! A word of warning might have helped you, old lech! It's been so long since I set about crafting Vestal Garb, <laughs> I'd completely forgotten. I believe you were in a hurry? I'll begin straight away. All the haste in the world won't see it done before tomorrow. Make yourselves at home till then, hmm? <sighs> Onyas? What's the matter? Trouble sleeping? Sir, do you remember this pendant? I've treasured it like a good luck charm since I was a child. Ever since the day you gave it to me. Hmm, that brings me back. I remember it well, child. I'm pleased you've held on to it all this while. It gives me strength. In dark times, I would pray to it, talk to it, and the stone would lend me courage. Keep it close and keep it safe. Someday it may serve you better still. <clears throat> and the other girl? The one who was with me when last I was here. Do you remember her? Oh, little Olivia. Yes. She serves now as the Vestal of Water. Sir, have you heard anything of her? Is she safe? The world's oceans began to fester the same day the darkness took the wind crystal. It's the crystal of water that sustains the seas. I fear... I fear the same fate has struck the Temple of Water. Or worse. I need to know if Olivia is safe. But I haven't the means or the time to seek her out. I'm afraid I know no more than you. All I can say is that she's not come to this place. I see. Tell me, child, would you care to share what else is on your mind? <sighs> I'm uncertain. Until a few days ago, I lived a hermit's existence, sequestered in the temple, surrounded by acolytes. I knew nothing of the world outside, know nothing of it still. How can I be sure in the face of that ignorance? How can I know that the path I walk is the right one? Hmm. Recent years have seen the people's hearts and minds turn from the crystal orthodoxy. Its practices are all but forgotten. Yet even still, they regard the crystals and the vestals who tend them with an innate reverence. Carry out your duty and keep faith, my child. 
Therein lies the path the Vestals show to all humanity. But I... I'm still so weak. Compared to the Mother Vestal, I lack in everything. I could not stop the dark from swallowing up the crystal. I cost those women their lives. And all the world's people, kings and commoners alike, their eyes bore into me. Whether in expectation or disappointment, the weight is crushing. My shoulders are not broad enough to bear the weight of it. The hopes and fears of an army of strangers I've never so much as seen before. They frighten me. I am unfit to show them the way forward. I barely trust my legs to carry myself alone. But they have. Despite the blame and fear, you fought this far for the world and its people. Your fight is a noble one, just and right, and beyond any reproach. But now the time has come to set others upon that path, guide them to follow in your steps. Just as the Vestals have ever drawn upon the Crystal's light to illuminate the way forward for all mankind, so must you. Words are powerful things, my child. The Vestals' words doubly so. They are a force capable of driving man to action, of sustaining him in times of need. You've walked your path for humanity's sake. Your love of this world has been your fuel. Now let your words be theirs. Share your path with them. They'll decide for themselves whether to follow or not. The world will choose as it may. But if you open your heart and point the way, you'll ignite a spark of hope within the hearts of countless men and women. Hope? You sound like Tis. Oh? Already begun lighting those sparks, have you? <laughs> You'll reach them, child. Speak, and your words will find a home. Then I had best choose them wisely. You're every bit the wonder I imagined. It really suits you, Agnes. Whether it suits me or not is of little importance. These vestments are a tool, and their purpose strictly ritual. But... thank you. Phew! <laughs> a night's work feels like seven at my age. I thank you for your sacrifice, Sage. Your efforts will see the winds return. Oh? If you really cared to thank me, you'd plant a kiss on my cheek. Ah, oh, you're shameless. <laughs> Is that another tradition surrounding the creation of the Vestal Garb? No! It's the sad fantasy of a lecherous little toad. What? Unacceptable! <laughs> I do love a girl with a firm touch. Come back any time you've need of me. I'll do all I'm able. Thank you, Sage. Now, back to the temple. All right. Wow. Cutscenes all day. Party chats even more. Ring a bell's reconnaissance. What? Just a moment, Tiz. Huh? What is it? Hmm? Something wrong? Nothing at all. This is a matter between men, my dear. Uh-huh. 
Now, where was I? Ah, tis. Last night, I chanced to awaken and notice you and Agnes were absent from your beds. What's more, you took your time coming back. Anything you care to confess, old chap? Just what trouble does a stick in the mud like you get up to? W what? That's none of your business. Oh, come on. Out with it. All of it. Every last sordid, juicy, scandalous morsel. Out! I woke up and saw she wasn't in her bed. Yes, yes, then what? I got out of bed to look for her. Right, right, sensible enough. Get on, get to the good part. I heard a sewing machine running, so I went to the sage's workspace, workspace and found them talking. What? Talk about a turn for the boring. He listened to what was on her mind and offered her some advice. I promised myself I'd do a better job of helping her, too. Huh, yes, all right, so is that it, then? That's it. What did you expect? We were only gone at maybe 15 minutes. And besides, why were you up? Hmm? Me? Uh, you know. Anyway, I nodded off after a few minutes of watching Adia sleep. Yeah. Alright, enough whispering. Just what is it, you two? Um, nothing at all. As I said, eh, tis? <laughs> Weird. Ah, uh, ring a bell. It's good that they actually made his character, like, the more comic relief. It would have been pretty bland if, uh, if that wasn't the case. Alright, flying back! Fly! I want to find out what's in those other caves, though. Alright, going all the way back down to the Wind Temple. Do we need to heal? In Anchime, no, we do not. We do have a lot of money, though. I'm actually saving up 10,000 Peeg for a Reflect Ring that I actually got. Let's see, is there anything going on? I got 54 minutes on this level 10 thing. Dang! 54 minutes, man, that's a lot. It's really awesome when you set everything to uh, maybe like 8 hours, then you go to bed, and you wake up, and like everything's just leveled up once. That's a really good strategy in case you guys don't use it. Alright, um, yes. Maybe if I go upstairs so that one dude, he'll say something to me now, right? Let's find out. Come on, Alakazam. Oh, you lack the qualifications. You startled me for nothing. Go on, then. Okay. Alakazam's not giving in. Alright, here we are. Oh, let's save. Sure, just in case. Friend bot has a cure for me. Okay, that's cool. Thanks. Alright, let's save. Alright, now we got the garb. And we are on our way. Air's grown even more stagnant. It feels almost malicious. I might be sick. Wait, something's here. <gasps> no! A monster's taken hold of the crystal! Orthros! The beast from the scriptures? Bringer of doom! Now what? It stands between us and the crystal's awakening. Then I don't suppose we've much choice. Uh-oh, boss battle. What is this thing? Wow! Um... Hold on, hold on. I gotta do... Examine twice on both of these Orthos heads. Weak against fire? And the other one's weak against water. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. Wow. Okay. One's weak against water. One's weak against fire. So I can bust out my two specials on the fire head and pretty much kill him. Uh, let's actually use a little bit of cure for everyone. 
Uh, ring a bell, you have a fire special attack. And you have a... I don't know what elemental piercing bolt is. An orthos. Uh, but no, I'll use it next turn. I'll use it next turn. Alright, let's default a little bit more. Icy fangs! Wow! Dude, are you kidding me right now? Alright, let's cure... Tiz. And then... Everyone. And then cure Tiz one more time. Alright, now... It's time to kill this guy. Maximum draw... Mine's water, so let's aim for this fire guy. And we'll attack... I guess we could just finish him off, right? How much HP does he have? 5,000 for each of them? Dang! Alright, let's do this. Um, we are going to... I guess we can attack, right? Oh no, what?! Why do I have two commerces on? That doesn't make sense. Alright, well... Why don't we do this? And then, Adia, you can use your special. Piercing Bolt. Weaken enemy, attack one. Weaken enemy, attack one. Uh, how about we attack one? Hopefully this doesn't heal him. I don't know what elemental it is. I should have looked at it. And there, ha there has to be a way of looking at it, no? Accept your fate. All right, maximum draw, super effective. Four thousand, not bad. Good job. Nice, that head exploded. Now I'm serious. Oh man, nailed that weak point too, huh? So it was Fire em Elemental, that's great. It only has 478, um... So I can just literally burn this guy. Yeah, done! Awesome! That wasn't too bad. If you have one of those specials available, that definitely helps out. And especially if you make your special as a, uh, a certain element. Wow, so now you know from watching me that uh, they're weak against their opposite uh, elements there. Cool! Look at how much peak we got and experience. Dang! And look at those job points. That's great. All right, Antarctic Wind, Bomb Fragment, Ether, and a Potion. Great. It's over. Somehow. Just how long has that thing been inside the crystal? The details can wait. First comes the Rite of Awakening. I'll second that. I'm in no state to deal with any of that beast's friends right now. Hurry, Agnes! You need to get ready! Right. I'm ready, Airy. Then let's review how the rite works one last time. I'm to focus my prayers on the crystal, yes? Right. That will naturally align your breathing with the crystal's rhythm. Your life force will stir it awake. That will return the crystal to its normal state. But you mustn't stop there. Keep praying! If you excite the crystal to just short of the breaking point, then release that energy all at once, its effects will spread far and wide. There are a few important things to remember, though. First, you are not to stop until I say. The flow of energy into the crystal could reverse. At its worst, that could be fatal. Second, once I give the signal, you have to stop immediately. Any further, and this time, it'll be the crystal that breaks. I understand. Last, everyone needs to keep their distance and stay absolutely silent. 
The right place is a huge burden on the Vestal, physically and mentally. But even if she seems to be in pain, you can't come near her or the crystal, no matter what. What do you mean a huge burden? Is there any danger to Agnes? There's nothing to worry about. I'll be right here watching to make sure of that. Now, everyone but Anya, step back. All ready to begin? Ready. Oh, press X, what? What is this? Alright, I'm pressing it. I don't know if I'm supposed to stop or something. More. Keep going. Okay, thanks. Still not enough. You can do this. More. Wow. Oh man, I was like right on the edge of my seat there. Did it work? The Rite of Awakening was a great success! You were amazing, Agnes! I never dreamed it'd go this well! Oh, good. Now the wind should return. That was supposed to happen then? My heart nearly stopped. I thought something had gone wrong and the whole thing was exploding. I'll bet they saw that flash from Anshan. That light. I feel as if I've seen that light before. Your memories return? No, just... I can't see it clearly. But I remember a hand reaching out through the light. A woman's hand. There he goes again. Are you all right, Agnes? Anything we can do? I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, look, look! One of the gems on my brooch is shining! That's proof of the Wind Crystal's release! Then the entire brooch will look like that? Once we've finished with all four crystals? That's right! Only three to go! Three more times. Well, for now, let's head back to town. The wind should be returning, right? All right, your support ability cost limit has increased by one. Oh, great. I was wondering about that. All right, proof, not promises. The wind ought to ought now return. I'm sure the people of Anchime will be happy. Yes, with the wind return, the kingdom can go back to its former peaceful ways. Let's hurry back and report. I want to see that lousy king squirm. I'm still mad at what he did to you before, hon, yes? Mark my words, he's black as tar. You agree with me, don't you? You have to. Not all of us are so set on seeing the world in terms of black and white, Adia. Our task was to awaken the wind crystal, and so we have. It has nothing to do with making anyone squirm. Just watch, though. I bet he'll try to make everyone work just as hard, even with the wind back. What? But that's not... Still, isn't it better if we head him off before he gets a chance? Head him off how? Step one is making it darn clear that it was on yes that brought the wind back. And how do we do that? Talk is cheap. We show them proof. Ah! Okay. What do we got? Okay, thanks for the gifts. Excellent. Um, yeah, we can pretty much run out of here. That was not bad. I like that dragon, though. Or the uh, that two-headed like beast thing with the fire and the ice. That was awesome. I think that design was really cool. Alright, so now that we have two support things, um, I think before we even head into Anchime... 
Let's just go right over there. All right, we got to go into Anchime, but let's take a look and see what we're going to do. All right, ability. I don't know why this guy had commerce for both of them. I might as well give him something. Yeah, like martial arts as a secondary. But now that we've got we've got the ability to do two um, support abilities now since we collected a crystal, which is pretty cool. So what is White Knight? With ally, ally with most HP protects you when HP is critical. Okay, what does that mean? The ally with the most HP protects you when you suffer a single target physical attack while your HP is below 20%. That's kind of cool. But it's like a weakling, you know? But let's do HP up, and I guess we might as well use that one. Because I don't have anything else for him. Knuckle lore I'm not really using. But White Knight I can use, sure. Now, Damage Dispersion is cool for a Dia. I like that one. Um, and you can go... And raise Arm Aptitude. Sure. Aren't I holding a rod still? Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, Mithril Rod? That's right. Aptitude all the way up to S. Okay, cool. All right, now on yes, we can do magic defense up, and then she's got another one, doesn't she? Staff lore? Or self-healing? Yeah, I like self-healing. That's cool. And then what about tiz? Um, I can do speed up plus 20. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. It takes up two spots, but it's definitely worth it. Or I could do two-handed. Hold axe, spear, staff, katana. But I've got the bow in my hand, so it's already two-handed. I don't really need that. One hand must be free before this can take. Okay. Or I could do HP up. Yeah, dude, this is cool. I like speed 20% up. So I'm super fast. I'll get the first attack in every time. Very cool. All right, I got a lot of money, but not enough. I need 10000 for that reflect ring. Ooh, I got to go find some money somehow. All right, well, this is going to... We're going to end off the episode, but before we do, I wanted to just check Adia's elemental attacks. Piercing Bolt was fire. Okay, good. And Weathering Ripple. I guess I can magic attack down. Yeah, Piercing Bolt is fire element. That's kind of cool. And then we said that uh, Tiz's attack was water, and rapid fire was fire. <laughs> so lots to remember. So if you know what you're up against, then you can go ahead and set your specials accordingly. But if you don't really know what you're up against and you're not really thinking about it, then maybe you should write it down. All right, well, that's going to be the episode today, guys. Thanks for watching. I had a very fun time destroying that dual elemental beast, which was so cool. And if you enjoyed it as well, please feel free to hit that like button and let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. If you guys want more Bravely Default, check out my channel where you find the main Let's Play. You'll find the eShop demo Let's Play and the Narende glitch as well as AR card cutscenes. So, yeah, that's a lot of good stuff for you. Don't forget to subscribe for more Bravely Default, and we'll talk to you on the next episode. See ya!